Former Yuzu CEO charged Interpol rate notice issue for ex-chairman Zilekas. Ex-CEO called James Matthew uh, was charged because during the period of Q4 2015 and Q3 2016, he has overstated the revenue right by 4.6 million to 18.8 million. And then if you look at the picture on the right, the ex-chairman called Thomas uh, Zilekas. He's uh, wanted by Interpol. And of course, the Interpol has uh, issued a worldwide notice uh, to locate and arrest this person for legal action or extradition. Wow, sounds quite serious. Huh? So what happened and how this company got started. Yuzu, in fact, is a small private uh, e-commerce company and they want to grow. What they did was instead of going through the traditional path of IPO, they did something called a reverse takeover. In other words, they bought over a larger public listed company called W Corporation to form a listed company called Yuzu Corporation Limited with the ticker symbol of AFC. Unfortunately, once the company uh, get listed, you know, they subject themselves to a lot of uh, queries from FGX if the numbers are questionable. It says that Yuzu hit with SGX notice of compliance and queries over unaudited financial year 2017 result. So if you look at the numbers over here, you may notice that in 2016, the revenue was 103 million. But you look at 2017, yeah, the number was only 80 million. So that's a very huge, uh, significant decline, which is why SGX uh, asked the company uh, to account for this huge drop. If you look at the detail over here, Yuzu is required to engage its statutory auditors to provide an opinion of those uh, items. And of course, they must release the auditor's opinion publicly by 19th of March. In other words, if they didn't do it, SGX uh, has the right to deem uh, such an act a contravention of the listing rule. So in other words, they could so-called maybe delist. Uh, if not, uh, they could suspend uh, the trading. So if you look at this article over here, uh, which is dated four years ago, Yuzu really shuts down. CEO resigns over trade suspension. And by the way, Yuzu has been under mandatory suspension since 19th of March 2018, which means that if right now you're holding some of Yuzu shares, uh, you will have a uh, loss, uh, everything. And unlikely, they're going to revive themselves. But in the corporate world, Yuzu is not the only company that has such a scandal. There are plenty. And if you look at this one, which is a local listed company called Cod Life, it says that Cod Life needs a fresh start amid this ongoing scandal, not old blood in a new bottle. So what has happened? Yeah, in December 2023, timeline, Cod Life mishandling of cord blood units in Singapore. Now, in case you're not very familiar with cord life, so what they do is uh, during period when moms uh, start to deliver their children, the mom can pay a service where cord life actually stored the stem cells. So in case touch wood years down the road, if children that suffer from some form of blood disease, uh, perhaps such a previously stored stem cells uh, can actually help. Uh, between 16 November to 21st November, MOH conducted a second round, not first round, second round of unannounced audits on court life. Now, audits show that court life cryo preserved court blood unit has been exposed to temperature above acceptable limits, right, in seven of its 20 storage tanks. So, what does it mean? It simply means that the experts concluded that the court blood stored in those tanks were damaged and unlikely to be suitable for stem cell transplant purposes. So in other parents has been paying their storage fee to court life while their stem cells uh, have been damaged. But that's not all. If you look at this part, huh? court life's board was informed by its management that some of the tanks, you know, uh, you know, were damaged. But you look at what the board responded. The board assessed the financial impact of the incident and deemed there would be no material impact on the company's performance. So in short, uh, it seems like the board will chop. Uh, and they want to keep everything uh, under wraps. So you realize that there's some integrity issue uh, between the Yuzu management as well as the court life uh, management. So what's my point? So Yuzu can be listed via a reverse takeover. And interestingly, SJEC carries some power to query unreasonable figures, which is good for us investors. They also has the right to suspend the trading of the company shares. But by doing that, take note, uh, the investors might lose everything. So one key lesson I've learned uh, is over time, right, is the best way to get out of trouble is to stay out of trouble. So how do you stay out of trouble? The honesty of the management is the key. You can never have a good deal with bad people. So I would like to hear from you if you have invested in something, property, stocks or whatsoever. If we have encountered a bad management or bad people, please feel free to comment on this video politely and respectfully and share your experience with us.